Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I love Google. And I know you're thinking, well, if you love Google, why don't you marry it? Well, I tried, but apparently it's illegal in the state of Washington. But not if we pass Proposition 404. Vote yes, Prop 404. FTW. Got an email here from Daniel. He says, hey, Chris, I'm Daniel. And I go by me208 in the chat room at live.perillo.com. I watched your top five Google search tips, and at the end, you asked for more Google knowledge. Here are my favorite things that I do with Google that I thought might be a help to you and the rest of the community. Number one, the in title colon operator. It's very useful if you're looking to download things or looking to really dial into what you're searching for. So let's say you wanted to find all the documents on the web uh, with the word asteroid. You would type in in title colon asteroid. And it would only return the documents that had asteroids somewhere in the title of the page. It's that simple. Number two, the period operator. Now, you know, it may sound like, oh, it's just a period, but this happens to be one of Daniel's favorites. When you use a period instead of a space, when using more than one keyword, Google will search for that string of words together. For example, if he searches chris.perillo, he'll get back web pages that have chris-perillo, chris space perillo together, chris.perillo and chris underscore perillo. But he will not get back results that are chris blah, 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 perillo. So got it? If you are looking for a specific phrase on the web, use the period instead of the space to separate your keywords. That one's going to be very powerful, I'm sure. Number three, the simple plus and minus operators. These are pretty self-explanatory. Plus adds terms and minus removes terms. So if you wanted to do a search for Chris plus Perillo minus uh, asteroids, then it would return all the pages with Chris and Perillo, but without asteroids. So no pages with asteroids would be returned. Or just, it would basically be searching Chris Perillo. But more importantly, the, that's where the minus operator comes in handy. Because if you want to see all the Chris Perillo searches, but you didn't want to see anything I said about asteroids, well then you would completely, no, you need spaces in there, Griff. You couldn't string them all together. Chris space plus Perillo space minus asteroids. Try it again, Griff. See, we're doing a live tech support thing. There we go. Good boy, Griff. You get a golden star for that one. Number four, the paren or parentheses operator. Uh, now, this one's a little more complex. It's definitely for the advanced users out there. Uh, essentially, if you are looking to remove a series of types, you would enclose them within parentheses. So, let's say we're looking for all the file types of JPEG, GIF, PNG, TIFF, you would search for the file type, colon, open parenthesis, or I should, how am I, do, open parenthesis, I'm, I'm doing it backwards from where you are, and then separate each of those file types with a pipe. And a pipe is the character on your keyboard that's usually in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, I'm trying to find it right here on the Mac keyboard. It's uh, right above the... Uh, uh, Enter key. Oh, I love the screensaver. It takes a snapshot every like three seconds and then does a stop motion animation of it. Uh, so anyway, it's, yeah, usually the shift of backslash. That is a pipe. And just like Snake Eyes pointed out, HTML, pipe, PHP, in parentheses, you can search uh, and, and either qualify against those types or different terms within the parentheses. It's like algebra, if you remember that at all. And I barely remember it. I barely want to remember it. Uh, but it's, it's like using parentheses in that. And number five, and he says this top, this, this number five tip is based uh, on Gecko browsers or like, you know, Firefox, Mozilla, SeaMonkey, Camino, Flock, etc. But I think it could be used in other browsers as well. So your mileage may vary. So let's say you go to Google, you've got your search, you love the search, you, you, you search, you use the search all the time. You've got it all complex and complicated and everything, but you want to search for different keywords against all these complex operators. What you can do is once you search for something, save that to your bookmarks. Name it something simple, 
Uh, so let's say you've figured out how to search on the web for all of the, the videos that I've uploaded. So you're searching against file type MP4. Save that search, name it video in your bookmarks. Uh, then edit the bookmark. And this is where it gets, it does get cool with Firefox, but like I said, you may be able to pull this off in your browser too. Find the search term in the bookmark that you save. So let's say the search term happened to be Chris.Perillo. Go in there in that bookmark and replace that Chris.Perillo, that keyword search with, does anybody want to guess what this is? This, seriously, this is very cool if you haven't tried this with Firefox or any other browser. Percent S. Replace that keyword search in the bookmark with percent S. Once you've done that, just replacing that keyword with percent %s, what will happen is you can go to your browser address bar in Firefox once you saved it, type in that shortcut, remember I called it video, if I save the bookmark as video, video space um, Wonka. What it will do is it'll look for that bookmark called video in Firefox and use that keyword that I just made Wonka and replace that percent s with that keyword search percent s which is most likely a short or variable for search or string um, and so you can create your own dynamic searches with relative ease at least through Firefox so again make the search save the search make it something you know nice little keyword nice and nice and tight yeah pushes your glasses up yeah great um, then change that keyword, whatever you save that search as, as something, something you're going to remember, uh, replace it with percentage, I'm drawing it out like you can see it, percent sign S, and then you can use that keyword space, any other keyword, the keyword, you know what I'm saying. D did I explain that well enough? Do I really need to say this again? Seriously? Another cool website you guys might want to check out along the lines of power searching, Yubnub. Yubnub. Oh my, oh, I love Yubnub. Have you guys tried Yubnub? Check it out. And if you need to find it, eh, just go to Google. Google Yubnub. It's, it, trust me, it's like, that's like a video all on its own. Yubnub. Yes, you spelled it correctly. I'm surprised you guys haven't heard about it. It is like a power user's best friend. It's even more powerful than Google. Yubnub. You'll understand why when you see it. It allows you to more easily search the web. Uh, instead of always going through Google, you can send specific operators through yubnub. Uh, I think is it .org? And, uh, is it .org? Okay. Uh, and it's just, trust me, try yubnub. So there's a handful of simple and, and relatively complex Google tips. I think the bottom line is you have to experiment. Don't just go there and type in a word and expect you're going to get everything you wanted to see. Sometimes you have to dive in a little deeper and Google's not the only search engine that has these operators. I mean, every search engine seemingly has them. Uh, and I mentioned the power one, the uh, Yubnub. I want to search widget for my desktop. Uncle John, are you running? I think you're running Windows. If that's the case, dqsd.net is a, uh, it's a utility. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a program. It's it's kind of a search form that runs in your taskbar. I ran it all the time when I lived in Windows. In OS 10, I love, uh, and that DQSD is freeware, by the way. And uh, in OS 10, I love a program called Monocle. Monocle runs up here in the menu bar. Well, now my screensaver kicked in, but it runs in the menu bar. Amazing tool. It actually populates results from, I got to show you. Sorry, I mean, I, this is just, I was so enamored with it when I found it. I've got a keyboard shortcut, option, space. Uh, we'll look for, what we want to look for? Oh, let's just look for Chris Perillo. Just because I know the results should be safe. So if I hit enter, it will automatically do the search in Google for me for that. Or what it will do if I don't press enter is right in line, monocle from within the menu bar here in OS 10. Can you guys see that? Can you see it okay? or at least zoomed in enough, um, it will actually go and search Google right here and give me the results from within Google right here in my menu bar. I don't even have to go to Google to get the results. And then I can flip down with my keyboard and go right to 
any page that happens to be listed here for Chris Perillo. It's re Monocle is really cool for OS X. Uh, the only equivalent I've found for Windows is, and it doesn't do the same thing, but is DQSD, uh, definitely one of my favorites. No matter, uh, I love sh search tips, um, you know, especially if it helps people, uh, you know, search the web better. Uh, you know, certainly I get a lot of emails from people asking questions. <laughs> that's not the reason to get a Mac. Uh, it's a good utility, but that's not the reason. Um, I get a lot of emails from people who could find the answers on Google. They just haven't figured out how to use Google. And I, I usually, if I know it can be found on Google, I respond with Google this and you know, you're off to the races. Uh, but search engines can be your friend if you harness them. Uh, and learning how to use these tools in every way, I'm telling you, you will become, you will walk into your classroom and you will be the genius. Like, if, if your teacher can't find something, you say, well, excuse me. Well, you don't want to push them aside. That might offend them. Computer. Computer. Oh, wait. Hang on. Computer. Computer. I know it was wired, and it was also a, an older mouse and an older Mac. Do you ever see... I hope you guys got that reference. If you did, and you made it all the way through this video, the key word, leave this in your comment, is Scotty. Scotty. That way I know those of you who watched this entire video and those of you who just commented without watching it. Oh, I love Google. And then you're done. No. Scotty. Use the word Scotty creatively in your comment. My email address is chris at perillo.com, especially if you have other fantastic tips, whether they have to be freeware finds for Windows or Mac OS X. Maybe they're shareware finds. I don't care. Or uh, good tips for searching the web, ones that we haven't shared with the rest of the community. I'm always available. Uh, we've got live video streaming out in uh, conjunction with this chat room of sorts that I do interact with. Uh, not all the time. I mean, I can't live my entire life staring at this part of my screen. I, I do like doing other things with my life, as do we all. We're all multitaskers. Um, and uh, sometimes we do a little too much multitasking. No matter, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll voyage home.